1968, a new songwriter stormed into Nashville. Like the writers before him, Texan Billy Joe Shaver was wild as hell and immensely talented. His songs romanticized a hard-living lifestyle and changed the face of country music along the way. You just look at him and know he's an outlaw. Don't mess with Billy Joe Shaver, he'll knock you right on down. During his first week in Nashville, Shaver made an instant impact on Music City's reigning songwriter king, Harlan Howard. Billy Joe Shaver drove his motorcycle up on Harlan's front porch. Harlan comes out and says, who the hell are you? And Billy Joe says, I'm the best songwriter in Nashville. Shaver then stalked Waylon Jennings for two years to get him to keep his promise to record an album's worth of his songs. Billy Joe finally got into his studio and walked past two bikers who were guarding Waylon and got in his face and said, when are you going to cut my damn album? Waylon finally did cut Honky Tonk Heroes, the album that ignited country music's outlaw movement. Honky Tonk Heroes like me. Billy Joe Shaver, in retrospect, I think became the glue that cemented the, the outlaw movement. One of the greatest songwriters of all time, period. He's the last great cowboy poet in America.